In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can cancel your Shopify subscription and close your Shopify store. Now, this is a very quick and simple thing to do, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any important steps. Now, to actually cancel our Shopify subscription and close our store, we must first head over to the Shopify dashboard. And when we're on the Shopify dashboard, we should be able to go into the top right corner and click on My Store. And from there, we want to go down to this option, which says Manage Account. From there, we'll be put in this general tab. And in the top left corner, there is actually another option, which is security. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, when we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we can see all the devices which are currently logged into our Shopify account. And what we want to do is log out all of the accounts that are not ours. So as you can see, I've only got one on here, which is this device. So I can leave this one alone. But if we had an extra account listed on here that wasn't this device, we could log that out first. You also want to make sure to turn off two-step authentication. And you can check that by looking here, it should say off. And once you've done that, we can go back to the Shopify dashboard. So from here, we're almost ready to cancel our Shopify subscription, but you'll first need to cancel any app subscriptions that you have first. So we can do that by clicking apps over here. And then when this pops up in the search bar, we can go down to apps and sales channel settings. From there, you'll be able to see all of the apps that you currently have, and you can click on them. And if you do have a subscription with any of these apps, you first want to go ahead and cancel that subscription and then uninstall it from your store. Once you've done that, we can go over to the left hand side and we want to go to the second option down from the top, which should be plan. Now from here, we should be able to see this deactivate button. If you're currently on a free trial, it will say deactivate trial. But if you are paying for a plan, it will say something like deactivate store. So all we have to do is go ahead and click on this. And from there, they say before you go, you do want to review this guide. So you can actually click on this link here. And I recommend that you read through all of this first, just to make sure that you've done everything you need to do before you close your store. However, once you've checked that and you're happy with it, you can choose the reason why you're trying to close the store, then choose continue. And from there, you can click this final button to deactivate our store and also to cancel our Shopify subscription. Now, if you ever decide you want to start using Shopify again, I'll include a link at the top of this video's description, and it will actually allow you to get Shopify for just $1 a month for up to three months. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.